Hi, I'm Tim Pennington, editor of Products Finishing Magazine. I'm here with Rich McCary, uh, president of Arlington Plating in Palatine, Illinois, just outside of Chicago. And Rich, tell us about the facility you have here. I know you've got two buildings on this campus. Uh, tell us about all that you have on the buildings. Sure. So uh, Arlington Plating has been in business for about 75 years. We were originally founded in Arlington Heights, Illinois. It's we've since moved the business here to Palatine. We've been in this site for about 40 years. So this is our main production building. It's about 65,000 square feet. We employ about 140 people here. We also have the building adjacent to our parking lot where we do our uh, shipping and receiving, we do our maintenance, we do storing, we have our corporate headquarters. Great. Uh, you do a lot of varied processes. I went through your a very large uh, polishing operation, but tell us about all the different uh, processes that you apply and uh, and also some of the uh, other processes. Sure. So here at Arlington Plating, while we've been known as a decorative nickel, nickel chrome plater on aluminum, zinc, die cast, and steel, and magnesium, uh, we've recently added anodizing. So right behind us is our newest addition to our, to our product offering, which is our anodizing line. We've got a fully automated anodizing line where we offer type 2 anodizing and hard coat anodizing. We're, we're offering uh, different dye colors, different seals, and we're catering to the medical industry, the food process industry, and the automobile industry. Right. So in addition to the anodizing, we have our nickel chrome finishes, which is what we're known for. In the nickel chrome end, we have our small part side of the business and our large part side of the business. For the small part side of the business, we do nickel chrome on aluminum, zinc die cast, magnesium, and steel. In our large part side of the business, we're doing chroming on steel and brass. Right. I saw a lot of the parts were automotive, we had some plumbing. Uh, how has your business changed over the last two or three years to diversify what you all are doing? Well, that's a good question, Tim. So about three years ago, we were about 80% automotive. We had a heavy, heavy concentration uh, in the automobile industry. And since then, we've diversified and we've cut that concentration down to about 40%. So now we're doing some heavy truck, we're doing some plumbing, we're doing some medical parts. Uh, we also do some just general industrial parts. Mm -hmm. So we've diversified the business. Uh, we've also gotten rid of our large concentration of big customers. We've got a, a, a better grouping of smaller customers. So we've worked to try and balance the business so that we don't have one customer dictating how the business uh, will perform. Right. I did see a, sh a you got some parts that are going to be shipped back to Italy, I saw, so they could reach you internationally. Yeah, yeah You're not just Chicago anymore. Huh? So 20 years ago when I joined the company, 90% uh, of our business was from the Chicago land area. Uh, we had two trucks that would leave in the morning and come back full in the afternoon. And slowly, uh, that business all shifted out of Chicago. It moved on to Mexico and it moved over to China. So we needed to find another flow of business. So as the story goes, uh, Harley Davidson was the closest big flow of business. So we started specializing in nickel chrome on zinc die cast and aluminum. We found a good source of new competitive revenue from Harley Davidson. Through them, we branched into the automobile industry. And now we have customers from as far away as Italy and Spain. Uh, we have customers from Japan, China, and India. All shipping product to Arlington Plating to get coated. It's through our specialization. We are one of the only companies in the world who does decorative finishing on magnesium. Right. We also do some highly specialized chroming on brake components, which are sourced throughout the world. Right. 